So first way is like an image. If you want an image that you found on Google or something has goalie pads, you can just you know go over here. Now the first thing, obviously, I don't know. I'm just gonna find a random one. This one. I want one with colors. This one. Okay, that's not even the same size. Whatever. Man. They have to look somewhat similar. Whatever, this is fine. Then take a screenshot of just one pad. Take a screenshot of one of them. So, I'm not going to make this perfect. I don't care. It's just an example. Then you're going to go to here create then you want to go to development decals and you can you can see all the other things um so how I do it because this the thing that I use to screenshot it just copies it to um my clipboard so um yeah I just go to it like any image paste it doesn't matter this one's alright. I usually use this one. And then download it. And you just want to. You can drag and drop it or whatever. I don't know. Um. Then you just upload it. And you do the same thing for the other pad on the other side. So this would be the left pad. You do the right pad as well. Do the exact same thing. And then for a custom goalie pad. And if you want a specific color as well. It's the same thing as this. It doesn't even have to be like at all right. It doesn't matter. And another thing is. When you, when you want to get the ID. Uh, you go to images. Then you go here open in new tab and it'll load it on actually like roblox and you want the idea right there and then you put that into where you put the id usually uh now the size for a goalie pad if you want to make your own is 8 by 15 for one pad and usually you will mirror the pad as well like what I did here you mirror it and for this one this is a better example I don't know I didn't use that for very long a bunch of random other stuff I don't even know and yeah mirror them it looks way better like that masks I'm not gonna do that it's literally just any image it doesn't have to really it's the same thing it doesn't even have to be a specific size same thing for the blocker it's the same thing but the size for the blocker is 3 by 4 I think something like that I don't know it doesn't matter it'll, it'll stretch to the size of a pad that's why I didn't try to make this like correct the right size because it'll just fit the size of the actual pad in game so it's fine if you do that it doesn't matter now for a custom pad you're just gonna do the same thing you're gonna want to make the custom pad design it I just already made an example and you're just gonna upload it upload and then find it somewhere right there you know don't whatever you can keep the name name it whatever you want doesn't matter do the same thing go to images you don't really have to wait for it to get accepted to put it into the game it doesn't actually matter do that get the ID I'm gonna do it with this one and actually go in the game ID. all right so when you're here 
you obviously go on edit player you need at least level 10 to edit your glory gear um then all of this now if you want to change I'm gonna put it as the left pad it'll show an example there it's always gonna be blue um now the pads main color is like that over there the secondary color is the color of the image now a lot of the time I would make something just in like black and white and shades of black and white and whatever if you want to change the color sometimes but for something that's multicolor you would just set it to white and then it'll just be the image that you set it to pad textures it's the same thing for all of them um, the mask secondary color same thing obviously everything's the same thing so yeah that's just how you make custom pads or get random pads off google i guess that's just a simple short ish video you know a lot of people ask me so i just made a video on it because it's kind of complicated not really when you actually start knowing how to do it the mask i don't know the dimensions of that you can just do anything it doesn't matter it's all right and yeah that's basically it